hi guys so in previous video we have seen how can we use ref for class components and when we how can we access a, a dom node such as the input and many others and also how can we use ref for a component react component that we have created like input so in here in this video we're gonna see how can we use ref for the functional component purposes so let's begin with that so for that i have created this input wrapper class or sorry input wrapper component and in here as you can see in here just i have uh, reused this input dot js file input file so let's uh, in here what we go we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing but uh, we have created this as a functional component and we're gonna see how can we achieve the same thing that app.js achieve so first of all i'm going to use const creating a uh, input ref and i'm going to use react dot and the hooks that we can use for this is use ref the same thing as a create ref and you have to provide in here as a null initialize value and next what we can do just pass in here the ref one ref as a props and just pass in input ref and you can do the same thing for the dom also but uh, let's see for this all first so in here as you can see that we have passed this input ref in here and what i'm going to use i'm going to use uh sorry we can use react.use effect so what i want to do is i want to focus on the second input also so how can we achieve that for achieving it uh what is the input in here what we can use we can use this handle click right we can use this handle click or just a uh, uh, purpose like what we got in here we can just first of all we can console in here and see what we get inside this input ref dot current yeah so let's see so what we get we get again the same thing that we get from a class component create ref and i'm going to use this handle click or maybe it will not work in here but let's see if it is working or not so yeah as you can see in here we got this handle click again or in the uh, second one we got the focus in here so at the time we only got focus at one time at one point of time right so by doing this as you can see in here that uh, as the app progress like app.js render this render and it will goes to this input wrapper so in here this react.use effect such as a component mount will run first that's why the focus will not come in the first input but uh, come in the second input so we got the focus in here now one thing to remember that the parent component if it's a function then you can pass the ref uh, in a dom node such as input one okay or a class component such as uh, input one you cannot pass this ref into a functional component as a child if it is a child component yes it is a child component input but if it is a functional component you cannot just pass ref inside it so for demonstrating this part of thing what i'm going to use i'm going to create a input two okay i'm going to create an input two component but the structure of this input two will be different it will be a, a functional component first of all so let's see input2.js 
and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy all the content of this file inside this input to .js. Just that I'm just going to convert this into a functional component. And removing these parts that we don't need it. And again, we don't need these parts because we are going to use a functional component. So again, we are going to use a const input ref, not this use ref because it's a hook. And in here, we don't need this. What we need in here, we need const. And again, I have to remove all the this keyword that is present that present in this file. So let's begin with that. And removing this render method that we don't need in here. And just this, right. And removing this again, this, this keyword that we don't need in here. Yeah. Okay, so there is one this cons handle click. Okay, we don't need this because we haven't used it in here. Now go to your input wrapper and inside this input wrapper, you have to import this input too, right? So just importing this file in here. Okay, we got this. Okay. Okay, giving some space inside this input to dot js so just giving an styling inline styling inside it so, uh, like position relative and top from the top from the top i'm going to give 20 pixel maybe right now go to your uh, input, yeah. So in here, as you can see in here, we got this input to file and we got this handle click to. Okay, so as I have said that um, this can work inside it for a DOM. So let's see in here, if I just type in here and just use this click me, we got the value. Just by using use ref, we have used use ref in, and access the uh, value in the input DOM. Now, as I have said, we haven't used for a functional component as I have, haven't passed it in here. So I'm just going to pass in here this ref, okay? Okay, we got this ref. And I'm just going to pass this input ref. Okay, and I'm just going to remove this ref. We don't need this right now. Okay, so just removing this. Yeah. So let's see what the warning we may get or the error we may get. So the handle cannot read property of handle. Okay, so we have to remove this part also right for now. Okay, let's see now what we get. So functional component cannot give ref attempt to access this ref will fail. And did you mean react or forward ref? Okay. Okay. So we have to use in this child component a uh, means called forward ref, right? So the same thing that we have used, like forward ref, we are going to wrap this function inside it and we get inside this forward ref two argument the first one is props if anything you are going to pass from this uh, input wrapper in here and second one is ref that's the part that you have passed in here using this input ref okay so in here as you can see here this ref is like uh, outside of these props okay now in here we don't need these things because eventually this ref will be given to a given uh, passed to a 
DOM element, right? So the same thing we have to do. We're just going to pass in here the ref in here. That's what, what we need in here. And that's what we need in here. And again, we don't need these parts. And that's it. That's what we need in here. But uh, what's the point of this all, right? So just console it here. Let's see what we may get. So console log input ref dot current. Okay, so we got this. The eventually we got this input tag, right? And it is right because as we have passed this ref inside this input, so basically what we need that we can just access any of the DOM properties that uh, this input tag has. So such as this focus. And if you do this, you will give up, get a focus in here. Okay. So this is the lesson that we get from here, from this lesson that uh, we have done, we have created a parent component called input wrapper. Inside this, we have created this input, which is a class component, and we have passed our uh, input ref, and we have used the methods inside this input component. But if we have used uh, input two, which is a functional component, and have passed this input ref, as a ref for this input two, you cannot get or you cannot pass this ref inside this input two function component. So for doing this, what we need, we need another thing that is forward ref, such that it forward the ref, which is inside the uh, inside the parent component and pass into a child component. And in here you have these two parameters that is props and ref and props is different in here props is different from the ref and just passing the ref in here input tag you can access the input dom using the current properties and do anything with it that input does so yeah so we have learned or understand this ref concept in here and Stay tuned for the next video. In the next video, may, we are going to learn context. Yeah, that's all. Thanks.